What's up everybody, Modelwalker here for another immersive engineering how to build video. In this case, we're going to build the arc furnace. So after the automatic workbench, arc furnace itself, it's this big bad boy right here. This is actually a really cool one. So in order to build it, you're going to need 27 reinforced blast bricks. And you're going to need 14 steel sheet metal slabs. You're going to need 10 light engineering blocks, 8 steel sheet metal, six blocks of steel itself, five heavy engineering blocks, five scaffolding, one redstone block, and one cauldron. So I like how they kept the steel aspect because it's gonna be an arc furnace. So iron would melt, but steel wouldn't, which is pretty neat. So the setup for it itself is like so. You're gonna have a scaffolding, you're gonna have a slab, a steel block, and steel sheet metal, steel sheet metal, Heavy engineering block, sheet metal, sheet metal, sheet metal, steel block, slabs all around that, and then the cauldron. Afterwards, the next setup, you're going to have a redstone engineering block, the blast stones, steel, steel other side, then heavy block, heavy block, and then the light engineering blocks. From there, the next step is just to put more blast bricks down, more light blocks, two sheet metals, and then two steel blocks there. Afterwards, you're going to have to do the next layer, which is more blast bricks, nine of them, sheet metal, sorry, not sheet metal, scaffolding, two of them, and one light engineering block. After that, the final layer is just going to be more scaffolding, and then three light blocks. And then what you're going to do after you build that is just right-click the cauldron, and you're going to get your furnace. And let me tell you, this thing is powerful. In order to make it work, you need graphite electrodes. And then you can put coke dust right here if you want to make steel itself from whatever you put out here. So in order to make it work, we need some ore. Some gold. Some iron. Mm, some copper. Borax, lead, silver, nickel. Uranium. Yeah, it sounds good. And then in order to power the furnace, you're going to need some type of battery. A very charged battery, because this thing will drain all your power, like, super fast. So, how it works is you have your socket outlet right here. Put down your connector. From there, oil to your relay, and back to your power source. And that's how you start up. And afterwards, after you got all your items that you want to smelt, you go into the smelter itself, the furnace, you just put it all in there. And then because I have three of them on a creative energy, it's not going to drain down. Otherwise, it will. As you can see, it's going to start making everything possible. So another thing to make note of is this little square right here. What that is, that is slag. So if you have a build up a slag, a full stack 64, the arc furnace itself will stop working. So slag comes out from the back end. In order to extract the slag out of the back end of the arc furnace, you're going to need this extracting conveyor belt connected back here. So all you're going to do, put down your extracting conveyor belt, and it's going to pop out. Same thing with the front end where the cauldron's at. You'll just put down your conveyor belt right here, and it will extract all the ore that you're making. And you can lead it to wherever you want. In my case, I'm leading it to lava. Yep. That's how the arc furnace works. And it is pretty cool. It has some pretty cool graphics up as well. So yeah. Make sure your slag doesn't build up too much. Otherwise, you'll be in for a bad time. And then with your power management. If. Oops, don't die. If you don't have enough power to it, it's going to start slowly dying out. There it goes. Now that it's fully loaded, it's going to be smelting too much and it's not going to be able to produce enough power. So, if your furnace is fully loaded, it's going to take a whole lot more power to power it up or use it. So, yeah. So, you build the arc furnace and that's how it runs. Thanks for watching. See you.